Hi guys, welcome to a different type of video which I've not done on my channel for about a year now. I've got fluff all over my head as well. Uh, but you guys will see that probably in a video on Christmas Day. Now what we're doing today guys is like a player review, but it's not a player review because I'm just going to be picking out some of the best cards I've seen play and also some cheap ones, some expensive ones, and ones across the whole of the board. And we're doing it probably for the remainder um, of FIFA, probably about one a week. And uh, if you guys remember the series, it was called The Best. Now, The Best was a player which would individually carry a team. If you put him into an average team, he would make that team become absolutely insane. And you can see today, we're actually starting off with an icon card. And it is, in my opinion, one of the best icon cards in the game. He can play numerous amount of positions. We're going to show off his traits. We're going to show off his in-games just so you guys get an idea of if you do ever get to the coin total where you can afford to get this player. Um, and it's not even a prime icon, guys. It's the, like the second tier. But he is still worth a hell of a lot of money. Now, if you guys do want the MSP, PSN codes are cheap game codes. Try and, uh, well, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If you try and hit over 4,000 likes, that'd be brilliant. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. The player in question today, guys, is Rude Hullet, the 90 rated version. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video is because the other day on the Road to Glory, I did a draft, a video which, um, sorry, uh, a draft which never went on my channel anyway. It was one of the best drafts I've ever made. Tried to recreate the team in some way around him, and uh, we haven't really put any superstars, like major, major superstars, in the team around him, but mainly giving him the freedom to run around now one of the problems which you guys will see with his stats is 23 games 16 goals four assists now i've literally played four games with him today and you'll see all the goals all the individual highlights and why it makes him one of the best players in the game if we do take a look at his attributes guys it's absolutely mental uh for uh for, for a player who can play in numerous amount of positions. 87 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, 88 attacking position, 92 shot power, 89 long shots, um, three kicks are sick, long passing sick, short passing sick, uh, 89 ball control, 88 reactions, 88 composure, which is an important stat this year, 92 heading accuracy, and even his defensive stats, with uh, 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 they're still average, but for a player which has got it all the way around uh, on his card, um, it's absolutely awesome. And physical wise, 92 stamina, 86 strength, 84 aggression, and 82 jumping. Rude Hullet is, and I can only imagine what his prime uh, icon Rude Hull it's going to be like because this one was a joy to play with. Don't know what the 86 rated version's like, but honestly, this one, it, it, even if it's 10% of what this one is, guys, the 86, it's going to be insane. Now, with Rude Hullet, you can play him in numerous smart positions. You can play him into CDM, you can play him in CM, you can play him in striker, centre forward, cam, where we're using him today. And he's got five star weak foot, four star skill moves, six foot three. He is one of the if not the best ball carrier in the game where you're just looking to get into attack. He's got the strength, he's got the acceleration, um, and he has the control to get the ball into the attacking positions. If you're strikers and your wingers aren't able to do anything, guys, he is the man that you should go to and try and drive the ball into the back of the net. So around him, we built a Premier League team, guys. Goalkeeper, 92 De Gea. Centre-back we went with was uh, Vertonghen. He was in the draft team. Same with the left back, which was Danny Rose. And then in the centre back, we go high to low and we go with the footmas as Belaqueta, similar to his inform, which was the one I used in the draft. And then right back, we do have uh, Valencia. So a very similar team. Apart from the goalkeeper, we had Yashin. Centre midfielder on the left hand side, we had Herrera, but I ended up taking Herrera off. And. Uh, we can see who the other centre midfield is. It's going to be the footmas Herrera. Um, no, it's Cazola we had, but I've upgraded to Herrera. Centre mid on the right hand side is actually a CDM. And another special card, which we're lucky enough to draft, uh, which is going to be Bakayoko, the Path to Glory version. Right winger now is going to be. Um, I think I had his inform. Oh, no, I had inform Mane, but I've gone with one to watch Salah. And uh, left wing, we have gone with Mane. I did have Overmars there in the draft, but we've gone with 87 rated Mane. And then the final one to finish off the team, guys, is going to be, uh, I did have his inform version, but the one I'm going to use is just his normal version. It is Juan Jesus. Um, is it? No, it's, Gab it's yeah, Gabriel Jesus uh, of Manchester City, which we have untradeable. So you can see that the players around him are still 
pretty good but usually when you do see Hullet in a team he is going to be surrounded with other icons maybe one similar to the ones you do see on the bench but he is ridiculous and in today's video I'm going to be showing you why you should purchase him if you ever do get to that coin total and why I see him as the best icon to change games and one of the most annoying to play against if you played against him but one of the best cards you'll ever play with if you ever do get your hands on him. Rude Hullet deserves a place and deserves the first video of this little mini series which uh, is going to be like one episode a week but like I said guys we're going to be taking a look at the stats the um, the traits as well because they're pretty good traits and specialities and show you why I put Rude Hullet in the video today so let's go and get into the highlights first we're going to take a look at though are his stats and uh, well we've seen his stats already I'm going to take a look at his traits and specialities so let's get into it leave a like rating subscribe if you're not and let's go and have a look at Rude Hullet in action. So if you guys do want to pause the video on this screen, feel free to, as it may go a little bit too fast for you. But specialities for Rude Hullet, aerial threat, dribbler, playmaker, uh, distance shooter, crosser, free kick specialist, strength, clinical finisher, complete midfielder, and complete forward. That shows you guys that he is one of the best players to use in many positions. And his trait he's got is the power header, which is very good from corners. Now, one thing I must point out as well, players do have preferred positions his preferred positions are center midfielder striker center back and i think right midfield was the other one as well and uh, honestly i know itani likes to play him at striker i think he's wasted at striker because he can do a lot more damage in the midfield and you guys are seeing the highlights in the background now from the daily knockout tournament and him being in the cam position you can see the control carrying the ball it's very hard for a, a defender to get the ball off him unless you're going to drop him. And when you've got a player which is ridiculous at long shots and a nice free kick technique as well, guys, we square it off the rude Hullet. He's got the finesse onto his uh, right foot and gets it into the far corner, sending us 2 1 up in this game. He's got two goals already. Rude Hullet, the uh, absolute dream. So, like I said, ball carrying is one of his uh, prime traits, guys. He can get up to uh, top speed pretty quickly. He can burst away from defenders pretty quickly. And even if you do not want to uh, be a passer and want to use him in the attack, you can see his, he makes insane runs and uh, calls for the ball and uh, obviously curves around the defenders. But you can see his attacking prowess is brilliant. Nice uh, dribbling, power dribbling as well. Nice skills and uh, passing as well. Now, a lot of these clips may be cut out just to show the individual things which I pointed out and uh, as you can see the aerial threat there gets the uh, uh, corner saved and bounces to Fatongan who puts us 3-1 up so we weren't just aiming to score goals with Rude Hullet we were also looking to obviously support the team and get us qualified for the daily knockout tournament and we were able to do that wonderfully with this team. Mane through to Hullet, bursting into the area, nice bit of skill, does two defenders but then an extra boost there, sends it into the goalkeeper, would have been a very nice goal if I was able to pull it off and uh, here you can see him supporting Jesus very very well, nice heel to heel and a brilliant uh, low driven shot past the keeper makes it 4-1 and the start button was pressed by my opponent and that was us out of the first round of the daily knockout tournament, Rude Hullet doing the business just like he was for the draft and I really wish I'd recorded the draft because the stuff he was doing in there was crazy as well, Herrera through to Jesus, Jesus um, gets a little bit weak for my liking, it would have been di in different with uh, Hullet, but a fake shot and then a low driven from distance beats the decent high rated goalkeeper as well um, to his uh, near post and putting us 1-0 up, Hullet carrying as always, driving into the area, I was surprised that wasn't a penalty to be honest, uh, going into the area, defender puts his shoulder out but a nice scoop turn, uh, gets lucky for him to charge at the defender, dispossess him and finish it, puts us 2-0 up. Uh, Rude Hullet, I think, already on five goals uh, already in, in the two games uh, for me. But it wasn't just the goals we were looking for, guys. It was lots of things. And I think in the final game, or maybe maybe even this game, actually, you might see him do a decent assist. Ball through to Jesus here. Uh, Jesus with a nice uh, turn back, gets it into his feet. Brilliant control, brilliant positioning, and uh, a brilliant shot there makes it 3-0. That was us done in the quarterfinals of the Daily Knockout Tournament and Hullet carrying the team through to success. Semi-final now, Hullet holding off the ball nicely, able to round back at Yoko simply, able to round the defender simply, and then round two defenders simply, and then low driven finesse shot into the bottom corner. Beats another decent keeper and puts us 1-0 up in this game. Now my opponent didn't want to stay around for long in this one, Fair enough to him as well, because uh, Rude Hullet was having an absolute field there, winning his defence. Nice roulette. 
burst of speed out from the uh, from the dribble and uh, obviously running at the defenders, low dribble from distance, 2-0 up and that was all we needed to do guys in the semi-final of the uh, daily knockout tournament and uh, Hully showing you exactly what I can do. Now one of the things I don't have with him is defensive stats but he was always coming back and was always in the position so stamina wise I think it may cause a few issues with him um, but time will tell with that if you guys do use him in, uh, in your teams. Uh, as you can see Manny with the ball carrying it nicely on the inside through to Jesus, Jesus through to Hullet, Hullet working the space, brilliant low driven shot, one nil up and this was against a really competent player as well uh, so I was really happy to get a goal in the final with Hully I would have been happy with a 1-0 win but we didn't get a 1-0 win we got a 4-0 win we got a 4-0 win rage quit because Hully was unstoppable you can see him getting tackled there gets the ball back nice uh, control nice bit of uh, drag back skill able to square it over to Ander Herrera Herrera for Jesus Jesus holding the ball nicely back to Ander Ander through to Bakayoko Bakayoko gets it back on the inside down to Valencia Valencia through to Salah Salah to Jesus Jesus to um, Hullet and Hullet with the low driven finesse shot beats the keeper and puts us 2-0 up I was really happy with, uh, with that goal didn't expect him to hit it across keeper either but we do and we do take that 2-0 lead into the uh, into the game. 31st minute from a counter-attack as well. Salah holds up the ball nicely. Uh, first time pass from uh, Hullet down to Jesus. Jesus with a fake shot. Defender runs past him outside of the foot finish. And that is 3-0 in the 32nd minute. Team absolutely dominating and uh, Hullet absolutely dominating as well. Two goals, one assist in the game already. And the final goal, guys, scoot turn through Hullet, working it into space over to Ander Herrera. Herrera could have gone for the shot himself, but squares it through to Salah. Salah finesses it, and that was game over, guys. 4 0. And this was the first video of many that I'm going to do. Now, if you guys want to see a cheap in form or a reasonably priced in form, or a non-informed player, or a foot must player, or player of the month player, feel free to let me know uh, which we can do the video around, guys. I've really enjoyed having a play around with Hullet. I wanted to start him off with the first one to do, because I think he's definitely the best icon in the game. I can, Like I said at the start of the video, I can only imagine what his prime icon's going to be like, um, and his 86 must be somewhere similar to this. So, guys, leave a like on the video, subscribe or not, and we'll be back another day, another video for you guys to enjoy.